Let's welcome Pastor Tony up as he comes to talk to us. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for uh, coming. So, okay, stand here, right? Okay, so I'm a shy person, so I'm not gonna lecture. No way, is somebody gonna talk with me? Okay, so I'm from Liberty University. I am four months away from getting my PhD degree in counseling. And I, I'm so grateful to God. I, I see myself as the other lady who, who, who spoke earlier on. Um, in ministry, God has other ways of leading us in different paths that we don't understand. So, thank you so much for your, uh, we are waiting for the slide to show up. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about time and uh, stress management. So, we want to see how these two affect productivity in your job place. Time and stress. I see them as chicken and egg. You know, um, time affects stress. Stress affects time. When we enroll for a PhD program, they told us that we should tell all of our friends that you are going to embark on a very tedious journey. I didn't do that until six months ago. My mother, who has been living in the in the Europe for like almost 40 years, called me and said, "Come in. I have really critically observed in the last one year. You don't call me." And, that's, <laughs> and that, that was the truth. And I wasn't calling because I had too many people working. I don't know. I, are we ready? Time management. So, so let's go to the next slide, please. So the next slide. Um, so that is me. And uh, let's move to, to, to the next slide. And so before we talk about benefits of time management, I want someone to volunteer. Give me 90 seconds. A time in your life where you were pressed with time and the level of your stress. <laughs> Just come here, come get a microphone at a time in your life where you were pressed. Maybe you were going to preach. Let me give you one of them. So my wife and I were living in Raleigh, and I was going to do a marriage seminar at Charlotte, South Carolina. And uh, are you coming to do? To, to? Okay. No, So, um, let me do this real quick. Okay, let me put it in my pocket. Anyway, so uh, we, we have, you know how women have spiritual gifts that what man know what they are thinking? Anybody know that that gift that women have? <laughs> they, they they happen to know that husbands should be God, and we should know what they are thinking. I don't know if you're married, if you're not married, don't worry about it. When you get there, you know. But I happen to know that women are very, very spiritual. So one time I told my wife, I am not a witchcraft. I don't read people's minds. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to Charlotte. She was packing, packing, packing. Then we go to Greensboro. She said a red bag. Red bag? I don't know red bag. She said she put the children's stuff in the red bag. Oh my gosh. Red bag somewhere? I have no idea. We, we had to go back to a uh, 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 rally. Three hours we were behind three hours. I am supposed to be the speaker. I'm going to fight with my wife on the way for, for the conference. You hear what I'm talking about? Because we were pressed with time. I want one person come here and tell me. The time in your life, come here, please, come here quickly. <laughs> <laughs> The mic. <laughs> the mic. Yeah, we're gonna be, we're gonna have fun today. Okay, go ahead. And uh, my name is Dominic Atiso. Um, I, I work for a company where um, every two weeks, you know, I, I handle you know, payroll checks. So payroll checks is something that you know you don't want to mess with. So every two weeks before I start, you know, I have to pray that <laughs> the system works fine, that everything you know goes fine because. You know, one mistake, it's, I mean, it's something that is being, you know, monitored, you know, from corporate. So, it happened one time that um, we have seen some failure. And I was there by myself, and but all the checks had to go out, you know, the following day. What to do? I was so stressed out, I didn't know what to do. And it came, you know, the time where I said, okay, it is what it is. 
So I have to call my boss that, you know, this is what's going on. Man, that week, you know, I, I didn't know, you know, how I handled it. So the following week, the way I was feeling, I went to see my doctor. <laughs> so, I mean, he, he sat down with me and we have some talk. And I talked to him about, you know, what I do. And finally he said, he did a, a stress test on me. He said, he said uh, uh, your stress level is so high. And yeah, he advised me, you know, for the, I mean, the future that I change, you know, job because it's not good for my health. So stress. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much for what you That's a powerful. I spoke to one pastor uh, last two years, and you know, I've been in ministry for 40 years. We were talking about one thing. He said, Kwame, this thing, my doctor told me, if I experience it again, it will be the end. Okay, so, so, be there. so you want to make sure now, let's look at time. Increase productivity, time is very, very good. If you manage it well, it will save you more time. So we have improved relationships because if you don't, are not able to manage, manage, manage time, you come under stress, which ultimately affects the result. You look at it, it decreases stress and depression. Time is very, very important. If you are able to manage time carefully, you are going to have this benefit that we have on the screen. You know, increased work success. It is very, I mean, important. I don't know, I really don't know. I think my gift, I'll come to that. You know, I'll come to that. So improve mood and increase self-awareness. So I, I have learned that any, 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 anything you are trying to do, get there 30 minutes before time. Because you don't know if the police pulls you over. Um, there was one guy who, whose wife went to Ghana. How many of you are married? Because I'm a counselor, I, can't, I cannot just talk without doing something about marriage. Yeah, it's not possible. So his wife went to Ghana and he missed her wife, his wife. Three months, so. So he got her from the airport and he was speeding to go home to do stuff. And the police pulled him over. And he said, come on, give me a ticket, let me go. I just, I got to go. That's it, that's the end, that's the end, that's the end. If <laughs> I don't get a ticket, you know, I don't care about the ticket. Something else that he has an agenda. Uh -huh. But anyway, so that is what it is. So if you are able to manage your time carefully, you are, you have the space to operate your life. So all my assignments ahead of time, I do that. Last year, I, I did so many courses so that I give me freedom for this year for my dissertation. Because in PhD, what will take it longer is a dissertation. So I make sure that I just plan ahead of time so that I can relax. So you have to have your own strategy how you can use time for your advantage. Okay, next slide, please. I'm gonna go fast because of our time. Next slide. Now, this is, so we are talking about time and stress, right, time and stress. Um, watch this carefully. This is very important. The, please write it down. The strength, the strength. The strength of stress is silence. The strength of stress is what? Silence. In other words, when your stress is up, you don't know. You don't know that. When your stress is mounting up, you don't know. That is what makes stress dangerous because it's silence. Because you don't know. I happen to have a spiritual gift, and my spiritual gift is I can I know how much. I should take. I have come to a time in my life I have to measure my mental capacity and my emotional strength because I'm not Jesus. How many of you are God? <laughs> the day that you realize you're not Jesus, you'll be so, you live long. <laughs> you live, live, live. John the Baptist, he says, I am not the Christ. Anyway, this is not church stuff. Okay, so US businesses lose up to 300 billion yearly on because of stress. US. One million workers to miss work every day. These are all because of stress. One million miss one day because they are stressed out. Work-related stress causes 120,000 deaths in America today. People just die. So I told my, my mother that says, if you are driving, drive defensively because somebody may be, you think the person is driving, their mind is somewhere in Ethiopia. You have no idea what's going on, okay? Women are more stressed out than men. 
that is the statistics women are stressed out. And then 41% of stress workers say stress leads to a loss in productivity. So that is very important that we take care of that. Next slide, please. So what our objectives today is to recognize how stress affects performance. If you are stressed out, how many of you, how many of you know that, you know, I know one, one, one person, she told her husband, if I'm stressed out, I am mean. In other words, stressed out is equal to me. I can't think right because I'm under stress. How organization affect time and stress management. That means if you're able to manage time carefully, it's going to affect productivity. Examining types and causes and methods of dealing with stress. This is the objective for today's presentation. Although I'm, I'm going fast, this is why we are here today. For my time, that time will save you. Managing your time carefully will improve your overall life. Amen. Be before we go to the next slide, I have another volunteer to volunteer here. How do you manage stress? I need someone to volunteer. Tell me, how do you manage stress? Hmm. You, you want to go? Yeah, go ahead. I go for a walk. I go, <laughs> you go for a walk? I go for a walk. Mm -hmm. some fresh air in the woods. That's very good. Go for a walk. That is awesome. I take a long shower. I'm telling you, I, I go to a shower and I get, you know, I will pay at the end of the month, but at least for now. <laughs> That's one, please. Yeah, I also go for work. You go for work? I, I also do work. I do work real good. Anybody else? How do you be stressed? Okay. I talk to myself Huh? Positively. Yeah, I talk to myself, you know, positively. Yeah. That, you know, this is not the end. You know, it's going to get better. I mean, anything, you know, to encourage myself. Yes. To get going. You, you are a very good man. I, positively, because if not, the negative self-talk will kick in. So, positive self-talk, be intentional. Be intentional and really be stressed. It's very important. And anybody else, how do you, okay, Pastor Mina? I listen to music. I, I listen to music? Music, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just relax and enjoy it. Just relax and enjoy it. In fact, let me tell you something. Uh, some, most people don't know how to be still. Like meditation. Either from TV to, to here, to there, to here, to there, to here, to there. Please, sometimes just be still. How do you distress? What do you do to manage your stress? It's, it is very critical that that helps you. Okay, go ahead. I look for someone who has a long time ago and then I have Say that again. I look for someone who has a long, long, long time ago and I've left them out. <laughs> So you, so you sit down and you look at your life and say, in the past 25 years, how many of you people have been really great? This, 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 this. It's okay. Let me send them 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. That's a very good one. I appreciate you so very much for that. That's a blessing. Now, you need to bless them. You bless them? Yes. You, you curse them? No, bless them. You, oh, you bless them? Yeah. Well, I need to talk with you to find out the research, how that really breaks uh, distress. I, I need to, to talk to you later on and find out the, 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 the house tennis. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, go ahead. I watch a good soccer game. A good soccer game. That is also a nice one. Good soccer game. Please find something to do to distress. Please. Boom. Chelsea, in Europe. Okay. All right, so we keep moving forward. Next slide, please. We're gonna go. So what is stress? Stress is the body's reaction to tense situations. When you are tense, how you react is stress. What we call fight, flight, frozen. Somebody was going to give a presentation and he forgot the outline. He put the paper somewhere and then he couldn't find it. And there's five minutes to, 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 to be called. You get, get frozen. So. Um, stress, stress is the body's reaction to tense situations. The body has to react and how you do yours is very important. Next slide please. Okay, there are two types of stress. Positive stress provides strength to accomplish a task. You need a certain amount of stress, but too much stress is not good for you. So we have negative stress, which causes you to become emotional or illogical. 
you don't think right. Okay, you don't think right. All right, next slide, we keep going, next slide. Okay, so I'm gonna ask a question. I need one person to tell me. So give me, do you know the signs of your stress? Do you know, see my wife asked me, my wife says, so how do you know? Okay, so I have the gift. Again, I know how much I can take. Because if you, are, if you begin to forget that yesterday was, was Friday, and you don't know things that you remember easily, then all of a sudden you are forgetting, you may be taking too much stress. But I want to ask you, do you know the signs of your stress? Because when, when the body is complaining, time comes to shut down. So, can somebody tell me what, what, what are the signs that tells you, I think I need a break? Somebody talk, somebody talk, talk. Okay, my friend, go ahead. Um, most of the time, you know, I start not being funny. <laughs> I know that something is not. Give, 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 give the microphone, yes. Yeah, most of the time, I, I start you not know, feeling funny. I know that something is not you know, right you know, in my body. You know? I mean, the whole system is, is yeah. I know that something is not right. I can, I can, I can, I can watch that myself. When, when you, you, you find that you don't really see yourself well, you need to go watch some Nigerian movie or a Jamaican movie. Do something. Take a walk. <laughs> Do something. Okay. Anybody else before we move forward? Otherwise, okay. Give it a mm -hmm. please before we go. I get headache. You do what? Headache. You get headaches, you see? You get headaches. So these are very real. Now watch this. The sense of stress being more emotional than usual, feeling overwhelmed or on the edge. Trouble keeping track of things or remembering. Don't remember, remember things. Trouble making decisions, solving problems, concentrating. If I can tell you something about the brain, I did a, I'm a brain coach also. Um, when you are under stress, your brain, the time to react effectively slows down. That the guy is looking at me like this. The time do you react and making decisions slow down. But if you if you are able to take a break and, and relax, then the brain, the, the blood flows well and then your brain works faster. Next slide, please. Do you know your, your symptoms keep going? We're almost done. Keep going. Next. The impact of stress. Stress affects workplace productivity, whether your own work or somebody else. You work for somebody. There's a link between time management and success. Um, permanent mental and physical harm uh, is very critical. It can affect performance and your personal life. Um, okay, so next slide. We are getting to the end. Um, next slide, please. Let's go all the way to self care. Dealing with stress. So, time, oh no, no, go to time management. Time management. Time management. Go back one slide. Um, back one slide, I'm sorry. Okay, so time management. Set boundaries. Set boundaries, set boundaries, set boundaries. Anything that you want to become, set boundaries. You, if you don't set boundaries, time wasters will become your friend. Yeah. <laughs> There's more to share, but I'll talk about that. Set boundaries. <laughs> you don't have to take every phone call. Not because you hate or not. You just you, you, you are on a mission. For now, this is what you are doing. People must respect your time. It's so right. And it is very important that you, when you, are, you know that this is what you are doing. And you, you are running late 30 minutes and somebody is calling you to, come on. And then you pick the phone and the person says, my tire, I have a flat tire. What are you going to do? If you don't go and put a flat tire, you, just too much work. Then your stress level is go up and then your BP is all the way there in all over the place. So boundaries is critical. Plan ahead. Break life tasks into smaller ones, avoid time, avoid time wasters, and ask for help. You are not God, you are, you, please get some help. I tell my children, I say, hey, in fact, last week I said, hey, this, this is in your old, I'll have to write something, write it, then I will, you know, put everything together and it. <laughs> Just said it. Because I help my children uh, during uh, daycare, right? And uh, I read to them when I and they said, the end. So I tell them, I said, now, I'm in school, you are going to help me. Right. You know, so get help. Please, get help, get help, get help. Self-care, let's go straight to self-care, and then I'm going to close there. Self-care, go straight to self-care. There's more, but I'm going to end here. Wake up. 
Know your mental and emotional capacity. Mindfulness. Let me say this in closing. If you don't take care of yourself, you will not go far. Learn to practice self-care. The kind of business that we do in professional counseling. Every week I meet, I have three supervisors that I meet monthly. The first conversation, Kwame, how is your self-care? Conversation on the first. The first conversation, how is your self-care? All of us are entrepreneurs and we have businesses, we have ideas, visions, and dreams that we want to change the world. Let's go do it. Go for it. But take care of yourself. God bless you, and I'm done.